Finding an apartment in Greater Boston is competitive, it's also expensive, and now it involves some fact-finding. Yes, some of the listings that you see may be fake. WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us the steps you should take to make sure you don't get cheated. It's that one word you hear all too often. A living nightmare is like... Unmistakable. The way I describe it. That universal frustration anyone can relate to. I just have to keep going by if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Ashley Calindris has until the end of the month to find a new apartment. I recently had one just, uh, just last month where a gentleman was telling me he was renting out this home because the woman who lived there, her husband had passed away of cancer. It turned out to be a scam. Another property owner telling her. You can go look in the windows, see if you like the place. If you're still interested, send us a deposit. We'll mail you the key. She was using all the major websites. Paula Fleming with the Better Business Bureau saying. And I did confirm they do try to vet the postings, but as you can imagine, there's so many postings every day, it's difficult to do that. Fleming says a Stanford study from 2018 showed 43% of renters encountered listings they suspected were fraud. There have been 270 complaints nationally to the BBB this year. Oftentimes, they'll just steal the picture of houses that are actually for sale. She suggests demanding a walkthrough and never paying by Western Union. I'll Google the properties. I'll look for more information on them. Due diligence is key. In Waltham, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.